here I am. I am here with the Galactic Council of Nine and the Galactic Council of Five and the Galactic Council of One. We are here together for unification and amplification of the new messages that need to be delivered to humanity. Welcome. Mm. The Lion's Gate is a recreational portal. As you know, the calendrical system is, for want of better words, out of whack. It makes no sense to have such a conformist calendar on something that is so much grander and bigger. This is why the old calendar system is breaking. However, there is a time around what you call the eighth day of the eighth month around this time where there is an arc we have been speaking to you about this for many seasons and years now that the arc of the portals is getting bigger in particular for the ones whose expanded consciousness is greater or wider in itself this is why you are experiencing the merging of timelines, the merging of one portal into another, etc. Like we said to you, a full moon does not just happen on the day. Then when you're more conscious, it's three days. And when you're more conscious, it really starts over perhaps seven, eight, nine, ten days. So you are in this constant flow of evolution. It is the same with these portals. Now, the Lionsgate portal is in itself in the arc of the zodiac sign of Leo. And this is what is important to bring attention to, not only this one day. In the old calendrical system, it could be said that this could be used as a hex against humanity to keep them in the same loop. And this is one of the things that people are picking up on is, can I trust this portal or not? And it is for this reason of the old calendrical system that is creating this time loop to keep you in the same magnetic system of non-evolution where you are only magnetizing on your own internal story and connection to your karmic heritage. Whereas what we are saying now is expand beyond that to understand the arc of the rainbow prophecy, like we said to you, at the summer solstice and we said to you from the six of the six that this was the beginning of the arc that leads through and over this portal. Now what is this portal? You have been journeying very deeply within these expanded light realms. It is true that through the divine gateway you see the realms of the sacred lion energy this is not to be mistaken with the lion itself although yes the lion is an incredible embodiment of this grounded energy right here on earth this is how sacred the lions are connected to the divine gateway themselves and this is why we speak of the lion heart, the lion hearted man. 
and this is why you have taken such a profound journey into the purification of the heart to understand and to be able to embody the essence of this lion heart what is the lion heart the lion heart is the love of the divine what is that it is the divine gateway that opens what is that at this particular time it is the love of creation it is the leo energy portal leo is a performer loves to be seen loves to be on stage it is about being in the light not perhaps the limelight although lime is a shade of green which indeed is from the heart is showing us that this is the light heartedness but also the spotlight of your life the light heartedness and this is the true essence of this energy that is opening in this expansion you have come from the summer solstice and arced through this expansion of the purification of the light energies and this will stretch through to the winter solstice this is how big the portals are at the moment and as you are both i would like to say enduring <laughs> because you need endurance you are enduring with devotion of the lion energy this devotion to this high energy of expanded consciousness of love you realize that this is the balance between the high expansion of the summer solstice and the high deep sorry the deep expansion into the depths of the soul in the dark but the light that's held in the dark of the winter solstice and this is what is happening i would like to say the arc of the covenant however i am aware that this phrase has been hijacked but what i would like to say is that this the arc the lion's gate sits not exactly in the center but it is part of the expansive light energy that fuels the light that we carry through and beyond the winter solstice that then connects us to the next portal which is the procession of the equinoxes can you start to see now how this works yeah it's incredible indeed and this is why the calendrical systems are becoming well the word i want to say is infantile they are <laughs> let's say very primary primary school and they're not primal <laughs> in a good way they're very primal in the first elements of logical thinking to try and grasp a piece of the universe and the universal wisdom that my friends cannot be grasped <laughs> and put into something so simple however at your time you still need this in a way but use it lightly start adapting to the merging and the flowing and that the expansive connection because even for example the flow of seasons and the goddess wheel energy is merging so much more than before for example we are already in the energy of autumn Hazel noticed last week, she said, ah, oh, it's changed when she woke up. And today you have noticed the same. 
Ah, it's changed. The first energies of autumn are coming in. And this is what is important, and this is what's important for humanity right now, is to notice and feel and sense and see on an animated level within yourselves that shift, that change of energy. So let's come back to the Lion's Gate portal. I have told you the hijacks upon this that want to keep you in the mechanism and the loop. But what we are looking to do is expand the consciousness. And as I'm doing this, I'm creating the arc. It is indeed another portal to fulfill the rainbow prophecy where you are bringing those over the bridge, showing them that enlightenment is possible. And not only that, that you can carry it through the darker times. This is the great preparation for the winter that is to come. Carry this light that is available now. Expand it, become it, love it, feel all the colours that are coming through it so that you are able to carry it with you through the next procession of the equinoxes and beyond. This is the message right now. And the next part of it is because of the purification of the divine masculine energy that is rising on this planet. Yes, there is still a lot of work to be done there, men <laughs> and women who possess the toxic masculine energies within themselves. Everybody has it. Everybody's working through it. We are all in it together. <laughs> However, there is a reclamation of the light source energy that is shining down upon us more now. This is also a confusion where people are shifting back to religion, but that in itself is a repetition, a karmic repetition that keeps you in the loop. This is a mistake. Well, everybody has their own choice point but what we are saying here is that we are moving into evolutionary times where the edges of religion and the boundaries of that are even breaking as the same with dogma the same with atheism all of the belief systems all of the belief systems are breaking and cracking so that the true light of love can shine through and this is what is happening at this time. And this is what is available through this Lionsgate portal is the illumination of the divine masculine energy that is saying, I am here. I am here for you. I hear you men. I hear you women. I hear you animals, spirits, rocks, plants, we are here together. We are here together and we are doing this together. We are illuminating together and we are journeying through the prophecy of the sacred rainbow warrior. Whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not, it is happening. It is here and it is taking us on the trajectory that is leading us on this expanded arc of this portal through into the next evolutionary phase. Now this is not to say there will not be difficulties because the old system and the old loops that feel very comfortable in the level of power that they have entrapped themselves and others into uh, for want of better terms, uh, will become some kind of uh, throwing the toys out of the pram scenario, which is what happens when you are on the first stages of your evolutionary journey and your ego has to transform. This will be happening more and more. However, we are delivering this message to you so that you understand 
and trust the flows now that are opening so much more for you to connect to your personal journey rather than becoming stuck in the old metric time systems. Any questions? Yeah, you mentioned the old hex systems that keep the collective in a loop. So what, how can the collective avoid this hex energy and feel safe enough to um, receive the divine light from the lion's gate? First of all, I need to point out that some may associate the hex energy with witchcraft and this again is a misinformation so first of all we must know that the word that i am saying regarding hex is in itself a dark spell it is a spell from the dark side that wants to keep entrapment that wants to keep you in a loop oh it's a it's a false um spell on the hive the hive mind it's it's carbon yes it's a, a spell on the the six the hex yes through the rising of the masculine and through the purification of the light masculine which is what you've been working on you make way for the golden gateway of creation which as you know is the sacred feminine to rise to come through once again through the light and this is what the did not want you to know because they want the men to be the highest. But this is what we have shown you is that beyond the 12 is the 13. They are one and the same. This is the connection. And the rising and the opening of the light masculine in this purified form is that the masculine rises and says, welcome back, sacred feminine. We listen to you. Let's create the new way. This is exactly what you and Hazel have been doing on your journey. And this is what is amplified right now in this portal. This is why you have both been going on a very strong purification process and this year in particular, you have been ready for the advanced process of this purification of the light masculine, which is very challenging, as you know, because of the deflection and reflection and avoidance in the light. And this hex energy, like I said, so if the if the pure masculine is opening and supporting life itself, is opening the divine gateway for the hidden sacred feminine that is also as above, so below. The great secret hidden from humanity. As above, so below. transformation of the hex, the transformation of the 666, the transformation of the vilified beast of creation, otherwise known as she, the great universe. Man at the 12, cut off 
the sacred source. This, oh, I'm speaking very fast now. It's very difficult for Hazel to get the words through. Man realized that with his vessel, he could not go higher. This is what we were telling you than the 12. Mm -hmm. And could see that there was a beyond, but he was not able to go there without great sacrifice. And this is why the has come in to cap the access to that information. I'm showing Hazel the lover's card now from the Thoth deck. Divine justice and unification through love, as above, so below. Hmm. This is what Jeshua knew. This is what he knows. This is what no. But they have capped this wisdom in order to maintain a patriarchal power over system upon all of humanity. The true sacred havens, the true temples. Well, this is it, or at least part of it. Do you receive? Mm -hmm. Do you understand fully? Yes. There are many temples in this realm. You have seen parts of this. There's the chambers of the heavens. There's these are the chambers, the sacred temples in the chambers. This is why you've been feeling and sensing Shambhala. And the energies of India and the energies of all, all the unification of all the cultures. This is it. This is the divine gateway. You can pass this gateway, receive the keys and unlock, unlock and set free. This energy, this lost energy of the sacred feminine because of your love. It is the rainbow gateway to the new earth. So this is the transformation of the hex. <laughs> say it is the X. X marks the spot. The X gene. It's funny you talk about the X gene. Um, one of my favourite shows that I watch is called The X-Men and the main couple in it, the woman is called Jean <laughs> and her husband is called Cyclops. What is the link with the third eye there, the Cyclops? This is a reunification of tunnel vision. You need to have complete focus and clarity. There is several meanings. One is focus. The third eye enables you to have greater focus because you are with your beam vision, straight center down the line, alignment. When you work with your three eyes together, the masculine, the feminine, and the alignment of the third eye, you are in wholeness. So you need your third eye. This is part of the severance that they have done. They are severing the pineal gland, the third eye, you need your third eye. You need the three, three, six, nine. These codings are coming in strongly. It is the triangle, yes. It is the all-seeing eye, yes. 
but it is not the distorted version. It is that you are, you are and you hold the vision. You are the vision, you hold the vision. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Anything else? No. This transmission has been very big today. It is a day of reckoning. For the a day of wrecking balling upon those old structures. Anything else? Um, no, no, no. Going to close this energy slowly because it is very vast. Take time to integrate this and breathe it in and be gentle today. This is a very big transmission for yourselves. Well done.